I'm right back, you guys. I had to take a break last time. I was just tired of uh, just tired of tired of playing. Just had to take a break from the game for a little bit. Well, not from the game, just from gaming. Period. And if you saw my last video, you saw how many times I died. I died like three times. This part isn't really particularly tough. I don't know what it is about this part of the game. This one part. Because I, I do remember getting... I do remember getting stuck. The last time I played this this level. I remember that happening. Yikes. See, the first person mode, or whatever that mode is, really isn't too good. It looks, it looks like he's just sliding or something. Um, got it. See this right here? I guess this is like a like a uh, uh, the, uh, semi first person or semi third person mode. This isn't too good. Looks like he's just sliding. Now I'm doing push-ups. One, two. But it's 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 serviceable. Before this video, I started another video on this level, and I went into that little uh, tunnel thing, and it turns out that uh, that triggers a cutscene. It's been a while since I played, so I forgot about that part right there. Shoot. Was. Last time I got stuck on this part, not really stuck, but I just I died quite a bit on this part of the game. Yeah, you know, I guess just trying to get used to the mechanics and stuff. Grief. Use injection. There we go. Now, if I go through there, it's going to trigger. That's going to trigger a uh, a cutscene, and I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to uh, trigger that cutscene yet. Some more. Okay, now let's see here. Make a save right here. Now there should be some. There's actually two people. Or I think. That's why I saved. Okay. That's what I understand. This thing's supposed to see through walls, <coughs> but it, it didn't show me the guy on the steps. Oh, well. 
Oh well. Let's see here. Looks like he's not moving. So I want to shoot him real quick. See, I, I could have went and, you know, with, you know, like, went straight to the next level. But I would have missed out on a tiny bit of extras. Well, these aren't really extras, but, you know, can't carry any more rags. Okay, well, let's, let's make some stuff real quick. Ether-soaked rag. No... Uh, slingshot, tracing bug, bug information for sling. Tracing bug will show the location of an enemy on the map. Forget drug. No, 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 no. More tech points. Good grief. <coughs> now I have a hundred. Extended magazine. Oh, 110. Slingshot. I don't know if I'm wasting time here. I just want to be thorough. On uh, I want to be quick, but I want to be thorough on my let's play of this game. Not too thorough, but you know. Cause like I said last time, I played this game and I did I didn't I didn't even uh, I didn't even know that, know that was there. That briefcase I just picked up. But the last time I played this game. I didn't have all of the, uh, I couldn't craft all of the items, you know, all, all the, uh, the gadgets, and I was wondering if there was a way I could. Because there's, like, seven tiers, or whatever. So, yeah, that, that 100 points right there that I just unlocked, or that briefcase, I didn't even know that was there last time. Now I have more monies. Ether soaked drag. Forget drug. I'll save until I get enough for something else. Okay.
appliance parts. Where's that at? I'll take that. I think I've already been through here. Plastic bottle. I'm finding a lot of stuff that I didn't that I didn't find or that I didn't see last time. Let's see what's this. What is this? Nothing. Okay. So now I'm satisfied. I didn't even know. I guess it's probably stupid to say. Not stupid to say, but a little weird. But I didn't even, I didn't even realize like uh, that, that there were games for the for this generation. You know, the original Xbox and, and PS2 that actually required you to uh, click the left stick to sprint. I thought that was just an uh, a uh, you know a uh, eighth generation thing. 360 and all that. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I played one or two, but I'm not sure which ones they are. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very surprised that I have to click the stick to run. I don't get that right there. But oh well. On to the next level. Let's get out of here. This looks like the way out. Damn, those guys don't quit. But Russian brawn has never been a match for good old American ingenuity and instinct. Plus, I'm in pretty good shape. It takes more than a couple Russian spetsnaz to run me down. Bullseye. Viva. Throw the American spy in the truck. Yes, Corporal. Make yourself comfortable, Mr. Carter. Relax. We won't start beating a confession out of you until we get to Lubyanka. Enjoy the ride. Hmm. So, the assassin is awake at last. I must say I'm a bit disappointed. Your agents during the Cold War were far more effective. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? You're a CIA agent. Uh, how you say hitman? But fortunately, uh, you're not a very good one. How you say? Really? No. Well, if I'm CIA, I guess that makes you my partner. My sources told me that the president planned to meet some CIA operatives in the mausoleum. Guess that makes you CIA too. I am the commander of the presidential guard. I wouldn't hesitate to lay down my life for the president. I protect him day and night from people like you. Yeah, well, sorry to disappoint you. I'm nothing but a reporter who is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Something is not right here. So, comrade, how does Russian prison work these days? Am I entitled to a lawyer and a phone call before I get my one-way ticket to Siberia? Or is it just a cigarette, a black scarf over the eyes, and a crack of an AK-47? No phone calls and lawyers here. They want us to confess to colluding with the CIA and organizing an assassination of the president. By the time they finish with us, we will sign any confession they put in our hands. They have already had one go around with me. I will last a while. You, not so long. Wait just a damn minute. I'm an American citizen. I'll contact my embassy and they'll... Perhaps I did not make our situation clear. This is the KGB. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are from. Here. Hey, keep your mouth shut. No talking. Sukisino. What did you say? Oh, hell. Catch. I've got a bad feeling about this. If you've ever played 13 
for the uh, PS2. I think it's on all, 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 all systems. I don't think it's on GameCube. But I think it's on the PS2 and original Xbox. <coughs> if you ever played 13, their cutscenes, or not even cutscenes, I guess. I guess you can call them uh, still images or whatever. Sort of look like some of the uh, cutscenes or still image scenes from uh, 13. But 13 wasn't like it wasn't quite like a. It wasn't really like still images, because like the curtains did move a little bit during those little, you know, scenes, but not much. But the artwork, I think, I think the artwork sort of uh, looks kind of like a uh, 13. That, uh, what the hell was that all about? You attacked a KGB guard. Shit. I hope you're satisfied. Now we're not prisoners, we're fugitives. Oh, we are dead. Don't they teach you Americans anything in spy school anymore? We would have been dead if we stayed here. Now we have a chance. And exactly how do we get out of here? All the corridors are monitored by cameras. And we won't get far as long as someone is watching. <laughs> the first thing we have to do is get to the control room. Hmm. They should have just gave this guy a bald head. Because the hair doesn't look right. The hair on this character model, I guess. But I'm, su I'm surprised he's so he's so surprised about you know the guy killing a KGB officer. What I've been doing KB KGB officers since the start of the game. Even though like I guess I, I guess no matter, no matter how I play, like whether I play lethally or non-lethally. You know the character. You know my character. He does. He doesn't really consider himself a killer. I guess you know in his in his mind, he's doing all this with you know with non brute force. Med kit. Rags. This walkie-talkie. It has a secure channel. I'll be able to maintain contact with you at all times. You mean we're splitting up? Shouldn't we stick together? The prison is divided into several sectors, interconnected with security doors that can only be opened by remote control from these terminals. You track my movements with the cameras. I'll make my way to the door while you watch my back and make sure there's no one in my path. When the route is clear, you buzz the door open and I'll move on. I'll leave the doors open for you. That's your plan? You go shambling through a KGB prison, dripping blood all over the place and risking your neck while I kick back and watch you on TV? Fine by me. I just wish I brought some popcorn. Popcorn? Now oh, forget it. Get going. I'll watch your back. Here, take this gun. You'll need it. Just with rubber bullets. I'm not gonna kill innocent people, man. I'm not a CIA assassin. Carter, we are fugitives. They will not hesitate to shoot and kill you. It's you or them. See, that's the like, that's the thing. Like, <clears throat> no matter how I play, like, even even if I play the game using lethal force, which you can do in the cutscenes, he'll still consider himself, or I, I guess in the game's storyline, he'll still consider him. He, he won't he won't consider himself a killer, even if you've you know, you know, in, in the game's storyline. You know, in the game storyline through cutscenes, he's only using non-lethal force, no matter what kind of force you use during the gameplay portions, which is kind of uh, funny. See you guys next video.